Monday's the third of our three days before the school starts next week. And it's the culmination so far of the development of our Centre of Excellence for Cultural and Linguistic Diversity, which we're setting up at the school. Today we had a teacher PD organised um, and the school, Ipswich High, decided to designate the whole day to training these teachers in um, intercultural understanding with a specific focus on Indigenous um, culture. I think it's really important today that we, we're here out at Perga learning from the elders of the local area, specifically about the local community and the Indigenous community out here. I personally work a fair bit with the Indigenous students through Rugby League at school as well as the Year 10 students and I think it's going to be really important for us today as a school to learn how we can incorporate Indigenous teaching and, and learning into our pedagogy and how we can not only get our Indigenous students more involved but also have our other students understand where our Indigenous students are coming from and where their history is coming from as well. Leading into today, it was about wanting to get a perspective that was about from this community. Actually having something that was Ipswich community based, talking to elders that were from this area and a lived experience and have students at the school gave a very different perspective in terms of these are actually the kids that are walking through our door and this is the homes that they're coming from and the families that they've come from. Hearing the information from the elders has given us so much that we can take back and use to support our own students in the classroom. I really would like to build a stronger connection with those elders in the community, but I want to make that stronger connection so that I can better support our Indigenous and Torres Strait Islander students. This sort of was a nice little barrier breakdown for me today to actually be out there, meet them, put a face to a name and then sort of build from there within that welfare side of things on what we can do as a community to continue supporting these kids. The days of education um, being an assimilative process are, are over. We need to be able to have, for the next generation, educational tools so um, our young people can go out into the community and be the best that they can possibly be and Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities get the benefit of that. There aren't many schools in Queensland I would think that are, aren't multicultural. What you do with what you've got and how you do it is, is obviously a local determination. We try and do as much as we can with what we've got to make the biggest impact on the most number of people when we include the staff in that too. So yeah, it's really simple, don't just think about it. Get them in, do it. Don't just wonder if there's someone out there, go and find out.